The Nepal Himalaya is home to most of the world's highest peaks, but it's also on the front line of the fight against climate change. Rivers that start in these mountains provide more than a quarter of the world's population with its water. And the source of that water is running dry. Dawa Sherpa is a world-class mountaineer who's climbed Everest twice and seen the signs of climate change firsthand. Uh, Kumbila here uh, is a mountain, it's almost 6,000 meters, 5,800. And um, uh, in my father's time, uh, when he was uh, younger, uh, they used to have a glacier up there and that's where uh, the fresh water used to come from. Um, the ice would melt and it would come down these little streams here, as you can see. But now there is no glacier, so the ice isn't melting. Now uh, our village is uh, suffering chronic water shortages. Still only 24 years old, Dawa Sherpa has already won many plaudits and awards for his environmental work. And right now he's working on a plan to solve the water crisis in his village. Oh, Oh. Hi. Oh. OK, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Together with fellow residents of Kumjung, Dawa hopes to build a gravity-fed water system that will pipe water from the nearest lake five kilometres away. But until they can raise the money, they depend on snowfall to keep the taps running. A centuries-old way of life is under threat. When I was young, we had a normally one meter of uh, one meter height of the snow is very normal. But now, if we if we got uh, six inches uh, snow. Then that is big snow. <laughs> there are many thousands more villages like this across the Himalayas, all of them now facing an uncertain future. In uh, our Buddhism uh, mantra, it says uh, it's like a heaven here, all around the uh, mountain here, and very clean uh, environment place here. So if we live here, then where where we go? So many leeches places, so many mosquitoes places, so many dirty places like Kathmandu. No, never. It, it is not uh, possible. <laughs> so we have to pray, God, not to move, please. <laughs>